are several formulas that can be used to compute Pearson's correlation. Some formulas make more conceptual sense, whereas others are easier to actually compute. We're going to begin with a formula that makes more conceptual sense. We are going to compute the correlation between the variables x and y shown in the table. We begin by computing the total for x, which is the first column. This total of 20 is then divided by the sample size of 5 to get the mean of 4. We then subtract this mean from each value of x to produce the third column, small x. Notice that the mean of small x is 0. We do the same thing for y to create the column small y. The variables small x and small y are deviation scores because each score is a deviation from its mean. Next we create a column by multiplying small x and small y together. This column is called xy. Finally, we create two new columns. One is the square of small x and the other is the square of small y. Before proceeding with the calculations, let's consider why the mean of the xy column reveals a relationship between x and y. If there were no relationship between x and y, then positive values of small x would be just as likely to be paired with negative values of small y as with positive values. This would make negative values of xy as likely as positive values, and the sum would be zero. On the other hand, consider the example data shown here where high values of x are associated with high values of y and low values of x are associated with low values of y. You can see that positive values of small x are associated with positive values of small y and negative values of small x are associated with negative values of small y. Therefore, the values of xy are positive. If high values of x were associated with low values of y, then xy would be negative. Pearson's correlation is computed by dividing the sum of the xy column by the square root of the product of the sum of the x squared column and the sum of the y squared column. For this example, r equals 0 0.968. An alternative computational formula that avoids the step of computing deviation scores is shown here. This is a good formula to use in the remote possibility that you are computing r using a hand calculator. Thank mm -hmm. you.